Oh, good morning, everyone. Um, hello to you, wherever you are in the world today. Um, you've caught me in my office. Sorry, I, I don't have my jacket and tie on. Um, this is where I work, my private workspace in my office uh, at home. And um, yeah, so I guess it's a special treat to let you into my sort of private domain. Um, we just got a new wave machine installed in the backyard pool yesterday. So sorry if that's a little bit noisy. Um, but what I wanted to show you, and I'll just bring it up here for you, the NASDAQ over the last two trading days, and we're getting very serious price rejection at those highs. And this is in a market that really just wants to buy for any excuse and kick on to higher levels. Um, we saw the NASDAQ break back above that level I was talking about yesterday, but again, just being rejected at those highs. So it was good to get out and be a little bit cautionary, but I still think, and, and why I'm focusing on tech stocks is that if tech stocks roll over, then the whole equity market is probably rolling over, let's face it. Um, there's all sorts of warning signs out there um, in terms of the price action. Um, oh, my coffee. Um, but the joys of working from home. You know, in a way, it doesn't even matter what the economic data is at the moment. It's really about price action. It's about this process of buying, regardless of what's going on in the world, for that to run out of steam. Uh, now, my regular followers uh, from many years ago will know that I've been looking for this sort of scenario a few times, and we've made some money here and there shorting the market, but mostly it has been most definitely a go-long equity market. It could still be the case. And just looking at that chart again of the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones, in the Australian market also struggle to, to get ahead to break out of that range of the last several weeks. Um, and the lockdown situation in Australia, so if you're trading Australian markets from wherever you are, um, the lockdown situation in Australia, the risk is it's going to, to expand. It could be here for a while. The cases in Sydney have spread to the northern side of Sydney, so it is expanding. Watch for breakdown in that price action as I was talking about. There's really only one thing to say about markets today. Oh, gold. I did say to buy gold. Gold is performing well. Oil, firm, but not really getting on with it. I still think we could be in a major top for oil. Aussie gold, I said, was a great buy the last couple of days, and that's turning out to be the case. I think currencies are going to stay under pressure. The US dollar is going to stay strong. It's more about price action and market positioning. Again, I apologize for the back, backyard wave pool. It, I'll have to turn the volume down on that. Um, but it's all about price action now because it's all about have the major head funds speculatively fully invested in a market. Are they getting out? Will they be forced out? Are all the social trading buyers now long uh, and waiting for profits that are actually disappearing and at some point will panic to the downside in some of those uh, sort of more exotic stocks and markets that are there? But overall, I think US dollar strength is going to be here to stay as US corporations get the confidence, valid or not valid, they are getting the confidence that the United States is going to lead the world now in vaccinations and coming out of the pandemic long term. Therefore, they, they are going to have an inclination to bring their funds back from overseas as they see the Delta variant move around the world. And that is going to what, what keeps the US dollar strong going forward pressuring commodity prices except for gold uh, and pressuring currency markets. And if Victoria, if Melbourne were to go into a lockdown as well, it's very difficult then to see the Australian stock market continuing to be supported the way it has through the current Sydney lockdown. So that could be a risk scenario that you need to pay attention to. Thank you again for visiting me in my office uh, at home and I hope you have a very good day. All the best to you, Clifford Bennett, Chief Economist, ACY Securities.